the first thing we're gonna need is this tip to insert. This does not come included with the kit. You need to check if your compressor brings this or you might need to purchase it separately. Again, this fitting does not come included with the robot frame kit. Go ahead and tighten this here. Now we can insert our line in, which is included with the kit. To the compressor, we need to com connect it to the control box, as so. At the same time, you have two lines here. The gray one needs to be connected to the power. Please refer to your invoice to see if you purchased 110 or 220. In this case, this one here is 100 volts. This is the black cable coming from the control box to the switch. At this point we're ready to install the robot frame arm on the machine. If you take a look at your pentagraph, you need to locate from right to left the third and fourth sets of slots. That's where the robot frame is going to bolt onto. Once you have fastened your robot frame to your machine, you can go ahead and slide it behind the head. Put it into position as so. Make sure you do this while the machine is either off or in the emergency mode, which is with the emergency button pushed in. Okay, now we can go ahead and take our Y connector, which is included in the kit, and our pair of supply hoses to the robot frame and what we need to do is take one of the black supply hoses and connect it to one of the robot frame solenoids we go ahead and take the second one and do the same to the opposite sided one remember we have two hoses going into the robot frame so we have two hoses coming up from them. Once you have your hoses connected to the robot frame, we could go ahead and take our Y connector and connect one on each side here, which will give us a two to one output. Okay, so we have our two hoses coming from the robot frame connected to our two to one. And now the one that we have here, we're going to connect it to our last slot available on the control box. So now I'm gonna go over the steps once more. We have our compressor. We have a line of air coming from our compressor into our control box now it's going to come in through the right side the same side in which the power and switch cables are coming out of now if you see our air path is going to follow through the other side of the control box and it's going to come out through the other coupling connecting to the one to two which is the y fitting and that y fitting is going to split two hoses for us so we can distribute the air to our robot frame. You see we have one line going into the left solenoid and we have one line coming out to the right. At 
this point make sure all your fittings are correct are set in tightly and snug you could go ahead and switch your control box to the on mode and go ahead and turn on your compressor and you should fill up about 100 to 120 psi to in which most compressors will automatically turn off okay for video demonstration I only took it to about halfway of psi the robot frame will work with anything above 25 psi remember the more psi you have on the system the more pressure your robot frame will give you on your material you do not want to excess 150 psi that could damage the seals on the robot frame so anything below 150 is good anything above 25 is usable anything higher than that is than 150 might cause some damage so once you turn on your control box and your air compressor is ready to go we have our foot switch here which if you press once will activate and close our hooks you press once again it will release now at this point you could go ahead and take a piece of material I have a shoe here and we could see how the material is caught in by the robot arm at this point you can move your frame around the same way you would do your tubular frame and from here on you can follow the same steps you would to do regular embroidery always check clearance for the bottom of the shoe and sewing arm remember there is less working space on the shoe than there would be on any other type of material so always double check the clearance double check the size of the design and trace and check all parameters of the design 